Earlier on, we said that everything in Mac's MSP essentially behaves like an object or like a message. It's very important to fully understand the difference between those two things. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to have a look in more detail at messages and data. In this patch, uh, I have a message here, uh, which I have the word hello inside the message, uh, and I have one object, uh, which is the print object, uh, which, as we know, allows us to uh, display uh, data in the Max window here. A message uh, is essentially uh, a graphical box that you can click on with the mouse uh, in order to generate data. In this very simple case here, uh, you click on the message box, uh, and it generates the data that you typed into the box when you created it. So if I lock the patch and click on the message box, because I have it connected to the print object, uh, we see the data in the Max window. If I unlock the patch uh, and change the data in the uh, message box, lock the patch again, uh, I can now see that it is uh, creating different, a different piece of data. So now uh, I'm going to unlock the patch uh, and uh, double click to bring up uh, once again this object palette. And now, uh, if you remember, uh, earlier on we said that there are a number of things uh, in this menu that work uh, in basically the same way as messages. So we're going to have a look at some of those now. Specifically, uh, we're going to have a look at the button widget, the toggle, number, flow num, and also the slider. Now these are all uh, essentially exactly the same as the message box in that you can click on them with the mouse uh, in order to generate data. The button, I create one like this, uh, is the same as the message uh, here in that uh, I can click on it and it generates a message. So if I lock the patch, you see that I can click on this button you can see that I'm clicking because the button uh, is flashing yellow. But uh, unlike the message box, uh, there's nowhere for me to type here. Uh, it's just a button. So uh, what message does uh, the button actually generate? Well, if I connect it to the print object, uh, we can see uh, what message it creates. So now I'm going to unlock the patch again. So now uh, I'm going to connect the outlet of the uh, button to the inlet of the print object so that when I lock the patch again uh, and click on the button, we should be able to see in the Max window uh, what message this generates. So when I now click on the button, we can see uh, that it generates the word bang. Nothing else. That's all it does. Um, so uh, what use uh, is a widget that only outputs the word bang? Well, we'll see uh, later on uh, that the word bang is one of the uh, is a word that Max MSP interprets uh, in a special way. And in fact, in previous versions of Max MSP, this widget here uh, was actually called a bang rather than a button. The next. Um, uh, object that we're going to look at uh, is the toggle. So I'm going to go to this menu and create one of these. Now the toggle uh, is also uh, exactly the same in a way as the message and the button uh, since it's another widget that I can click on with the mouse in order to generate data. So uh, if I lock the patch now we can see uh, how the toggle works. If I click on the toggle it uh, puts an X inside the box. If I click on it again, it removes the X. As with the previous examples, if I uh, connect this up to the print object, we can actually see uh, what messages this uh, toggle generates when I do that. So uh, if I click on it so that the toggle has an X inside, we can see that it generates uh, a message, which is the number one. We can see that that's just appeared in the Max window here. And if I click on it again, so that the X disappears, we can see that it generates a different message, the number zero. 
message. So what use uh, is a box that only sends out ones or zeros, you may well wonder? Well, uh, again, we'll see later on that certain Max MSP objects interpret uh, the number one or the number zero in special ways. Uh, in particular, you'll find uh, yourself using the toggle widget to switch uh, certain parts of your patch on or off. Returning uh, once again to this uh, palette, here uh, is another widget that generates numerical messages. It's the number box. If I create one of these and lock the patch with Control e uh, you can see what this does. If I uh, click on the number box and hold down the mouse button, you can see that the little triangle uh, to the left of the number has gone yellow. And while holding the mouse button, I can drag the mouse upwards to increase uh, the number uh, in the number box. And likewise, if I drag the mouse downwards whilst holding down the mouse button, I can decrease the number back to zero and also negatively. Uh, I can also click uh, on the number box and release the button. Notice that the little triangle remains yellow. And now I can use the keyboard, let's say, to type the number uh, 50 and press enter. So I can also uh, type a number into the number box. If I uh, unlock the patch again and connect the outlet of the number box to the inlet of the print object, lock the patch, uh, what we'll see is that every time uh, the number changes, uh, the number sends itself out as a message, as a piece of numerical data. And because I've just connected it to the print object, we should see each uh, new number as this changes in the Max window here. So you can see, as I'm changing the number, there is a new message for every number. The uh, flow num box works in exactly the same way and looks very similar. The only difference here is that the number can have a decimal point. So the number box um, generates what are known as integers whole numbers, uh, whereas the flow num box um, generates what is called a floating point number. Uh, a floating point number is, is, is uh, basically a number that has a decimal point in it. And we'll see later on that um, there are different situations uh, in which you would want to use these two different types of data. I'm going to look now uh, at the slider widget. And this gives you uh, a graphical object that looks like this. It's this one here. And what the slider does, if I lock the patch, is uh, it gives me a little graphical object which I can use as a slider. And that can work vertically or horizontally, as we've seen. And if I connect this uh, the outlet of the uh, slider to the inlet of the print object, we'll be able to see uh, what messages it generates when I interact with it. So as I've clicked here, we get zero. And as I increase the position of the slider, you'll see that it's sending out a new uh, number message for every new value. And when I get to the maximum position of the slider, it's at one, two, seven and I can decrease the value again, and it's still sending messages for every uh, new value, for every new position of the slider. And when I get back to the left-hand side, we get to zero. And that would work in exactly the same way if I had the slider vertically. There are also uh, a number of more complicated graphical widgets uh, that operate in broadly uh, similar ways uh, to those that we've seen already. Uh, the LCD widget, uh, for example, uh, looks like this. Uh, the LCD object will allow me to draw a line uh, using the mouse uh, pointer. If I unlock again and connect this outlet here to the print object, we'll see that like all of these um, widgets that we've been looking at, uh, this uh, LCD widget sends out messages as well uh, when I interact with the mouse. So 
what we can see in the max window to the right as I'm moving the pointer are the X and Y coordinates of the mouse pointer.